So the, the whole point of restating what a student said or to, to ask them to say what they said again or is this what you're really saying? Um, it's a way for students to either better understand what somebody else has said who may not be at the same level of understanding or it's a way for students to evaluate what they said themselves. Um, I feel like some of those talk science moves have slowly progressed in my teaching, but they're a really important part in um, student ownership that I have heard what they said and then it's a valuable part to our classroom discussions. Um, and I like to go back to the idea that like not everybody in the classroom is at the same level of understanding. So even when I ask another student to make sense of what someone else said, they may be able to take what that kid said and change it around so that it can, the same information can reach somebody else who's not at that same level. So putting on a poker face is hard, uh, but I put on the poker face sometimes because there is different levels of understanding in the classroom. And you know, there's kids that know about molecules, right? As we're trying to figure out the matter's made of pieces. And you're like, what? Um, but there is also a progression of learning that has to happen across all three dimensions. And that poker face is important that as we work towards that, that piece, that we build that foundation up for people. Um, the poker face is also there so that students can actually make sense of things that they have heard. And many times students have said something that they've heard somewhere or they've read in a book or they've watched on a TV show or in a video. They don't actually really know what's behind that. It's really my job to break it down to the point where they need to be able to communicate their understanding to other people. Um, and you know, I get a lot of eye rolls from students that are like, what, she's my science teacher and she doesn't know what a molecule is or she doesn't know what evaporation is. And you know, there's a lot of sidebar conversations that are like, she totally knows it. And I'm like, no, I really don't. I, and I try to put myself in their shoes that as we're you know, doing this learning together that I am no better or worse than them, that I'm learning along with them. And that poker face has to happen because I can guarantee you that there's a kid sitting in my classroom that doesn't know what that kid's talking about. And at that moment, they almost feel defeated because their level of understanding isn't where somebody else is. But then I've roped that kid in that doesn't have an understanding. And I've won that kid over to be like, wow, she's like me and she doesn't know. And she's invested in trying to figure this out with me. So in order to get students to dig deeper, as a teacher, I will sometimes argue with them for an opposing viewpoint or um, an idea that maybe could sway the evidence in one way. Um, and it really helps students uncover additional evidence to support something that they're trying to, to uncover. It's really an eye-opening experience for students when the teacher is challenging them on their work. And at the, on the flip side, it also gives them ownership and comfortability over time that they can also challenge me. So that when I'm questioning what they're doing, they've eventually developed rapport with me to be like, well, wait a minute, her idea is wrong. And I purposely will do that sometimes, where the idea that I present to students is not what they said, is actually something else. So then they're like, well, wait, no, that's not what I said. Is she really trying to throw me for a loop? And I'm not, but I'm, I'm helping them go deeper to maybe find a counterclaim or additional evidence that doesn't support the claim, um, but it really allows them to think deeper about what they're doing.